Costello, commercial real estate broker, here with Brad Richardson, executive director of the Clark County Historical Museum. Tell us a little bit about what you do here. So we are the Clark County Historical Museum and we gather, save, and share the pieces and stories of Clark County history. We have four galleries here. We have a brewing exhibit, which we're standing in here, women's history exhibit, ports exhibit, and music exhibit. And we do an array of exhibits and programs uh, across Clark County. We serve 500,000. And you have a long history of how long this organization has been around. Yep. Uh, how did the organization begin? So the organization began in 1917 as the Vancouver Historical Society. Uh, its initial mission was to save buildings. They actually saved the Covington House, which they purchased themselves and moved stick by stick to where it's at today. And then they pushed from there to an initiative to get a recreation of Fort Vancouver. Uh, and then from there, they eventually established the museum. And today, they're the Clark County Historical Society and there's a whole slew of names that are different in between. So if you see a historical organization, it's probably us. Gotcha. Uh, it's so important to preserve history in a community, um, but it's also challenging to be in, in your role. What's been one of the biggest challenges you've encountered so far? You know, one of the biggest challenges that I've encountered so far is just making sure that we're serving all of Clark County. Um, I can actually use a little story. When I walked in in 2010, I was a volunteer and then I was an intern for my first whole year, so unpaid, so definitely a benefit in the museum. Uh, and when I came in and I looked around, I said, where are the paper makers? I'm from Camas Washougal, so like I was looking for my own town story and I didn't really feel like I saw that. And there was amazing things happening, but just that countywide. And so we've expanded over the last few years to sort of Ridgefield, Battleground, Camas, Washougal. We work with groups uh, in North Clark, we work with groups in La Center, but sustaining and maintaining that with a staff of just four covering, you know, a count, whole big county with, um, you know, 500,000 individuals, it's really, really hard to maintain and keep that up with a small staff. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but you've been really successful. I've, you know, come to some of your programs, always have a good time. What do you attribute some of that success to? You know, I think our success comes from our philosophy of agency and facilitation. We want the community to know that this is a center for their storytelling. I, I don't own any of this stuff. Like when I when I go out to the community, people are like, "Oh, you're going," and they talk about these my things. I'm like, "This is this is not my stuff. I, it is my cultural um, inheritance as a Clark County resident, as a person who's born and raised here. But I don't own this stuff. The community owns it, and we just steward it for them. And so." you know, really that, that agency of having the community come in and tell their own story and then us just using our expertise and our professional skills to help facilitate that communication, that's, that's a big deal that we really want the community and that's helped our success because people have felt engaged, they feel access to their own story. Whether you live in Clark County nine minutes or 90 years, you make history here, we want you to come help us tell that story. I love it. What's one thing you'd want the community to know about the Clark County Historical Museum? You know, uh, the one thing I want the, the community to know is that what I just said basically is we're your institution, we're your museum, we're stewarding what is your cultural heritage and really we need the community to come engage and be a part of this, whether it is through your time. Come to a walking tour, whether it's haunted or history, right? Uh, come to a talk. We have a speaker series, which is like locally focused and discussion based. We have History on Tap, which is more regional and national focused at the King and Theater. Um, you know, come view our exhibits, just participate in something that we're doing because we're doing so much and engaging with so much of the community. Um, and then your talent. If you have a talent and you can come in and say, hey, I want to help out, I want to serve, come to us. We're a very small staff that's just always trying to maintain. Come in and be a part of that energy and that work. And then obviously investment. I, I have to let you know, you know, having the name county in the museum's title is kind of difficult because uh, we are not a county agency. We do get a small portion of public funding, which covers about 15% of what we actually have to operate on. We operate on $300,000 a year, so we're raising $240,000 a year to sustain. So like, become a member, donate, give, look at your couch, we'll take pocket change. Do whatever you can to invest in us. We really do need that to sustain the level of work that we're doing. And a museum our size, I'm gonna tell you, has no business doing this level of work. So. The people on this staff are giving a lot to do it, so help us by giving us the resources we need to make that happen. Yeah, that's so cool. If you were to put a message on the board, what would you want it to say? Gather, save, and share. Perfect. 
Um, so tell everybody uh, how they can learn a little bit more information, where you're located, uh, and I will be sure to put uh, a link to the website in the show notes. But Yeah, we're located in downtown Vancouver at 1511 Main Street. We're in a historic Carnegie Library, Vancouver's first uh, building built specifically to be a library. Uh, you can check out everything on our website at cchmuseum.org. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We know how to use social media just because we're a museum doesn't mean we don't know how to use a computer. Uh, and you can check out all our programs, our events. You can become a member and do all that fun stuff. We're open Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 4. And that is something we just got back to because the pandemic really threw a wrench in everything. We're now back to full hours, Tuesday through Saturday, 11 to 4, down here in Vancouver. Yeah, thank you so much, Brad. Yeah, I, I always enjoy our conversations. Be sure to check out the museum. They do offer great programming. Um, even if you don't like history, it's just cool to learn a little bit more about where you live yeah. um, and what's happening here. Um, I will be sure to put some information in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching this week. Take care of yourself, and if you can, someone else too.